My name is Muli Musioka. I'm a trichologist from Hair Hub Trichology Center. Last week, I spoke to you about a case called frontal fibrosing. And today, I want to delve a little bit more into that case because this Nigerian lady came to see me last year and immediately I saw her. I knew that she was going through frontal fibrosing. And you can see it's very punishing. It's a scarring process that complete decimation of the hair follicles along the hairline happens and you can see if you do not stop it, it keeps on going on and on and on and 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 messing up the hair follicles and anything that is bad for the hair follicles is bad for the hair so a permanent loss of hair follicles means a permanent loss of hair so we quickly uh, diagnosed frontal fibrosing and started managing it both orally and topically and interrelationally we managed inflammatory process and thankfully within five months or so get the scalp settled and then after that like i said we always do hair transplant pilots if we want to restore the hair that was lost the reason why we do a hair transplant pilot is because an inflammatory process or autoimmune responses or scalp conditions we cannot claim to treat them permanently so and you do not know what will trigger any inflammation again so you want to work in bits and you want to do testing of the scalp just to make sure that it is ready to support hair growth. So after the treatment, we did hair transplant for her. We started with the sides and then later on, we worked on the top area. And you can see within six to seven months of hair growth, she's starting to get density. This hair growth takes time. It can take a year, a year, three months for you to get full growth. The key thing is at least now she's restored her hairline and she's very happy about it. However, because it is an inflammatory process, it's an autoimmune response, we must keep checking. Even as our hair continues to thicken, we must make sure that there is no new inflammation because then that could jeopardize the work that we've put in place. If there is new inflammation, then it's just about managing it because it doesn't happen overnight. You don't lose all the follicles overnight. It's a slow process. Catch it in good time, then you should be able to keep the hair growing.